Today we're reviewing zoo animals and how to insert pictures. I'm going to begin with my template, HTML heading, my title, your name, favorite animals, close the title, your meta tags, close the heading, line 7, begin the body, line 8, my zoo animals in H1, and starting here at line 10, I can add my first image. IMG SRC for image source equals quote draft dot JPG quote here. I'm going to save it and run it. Now as you can see that picture is way too big for my website so next I'm going to enter a height and a width to make the image appear smaller. So I added the height and the width, and if you're not sure, um, you can just try it, see how it looks, and then you can always go back and um, adjust it a little bit more. Okay. So now I've got my zoo animals, and I have my first image. Now remember, if your image does not show up, it's because of two things. Number one, you don't have your web page and all your pictures in the same file folder. The other part may be you don't know the file type. So, make sure like my kangaroo and my pupman are .jpgs, but my flamingo is an animated GIF, so I need to make sure I code that correctly. Now, once you actually code it in from here, you can highlight it. Wait, let me show you one other item. Um, I can also do the Alt tag. And that's so a computer reader can read it. Um, image of a giraffe. So that case in somebody had visual imperities, if we add an alt tag, then the computer would read for them what that is a picture of. All right, so the second one, instead of giraffe, over here I can change it to kangaroo. And everyone can say, image of a kangaroo and baby. Okay, I'm going to save it and run it. So I'm going to view, view file in Chrome. Okay, and now I can see my giraffe and my kangaroo. I can do the same thing here. Instead of giraffe, I can replace that with puppet. And finally, the last one, I'm going to put flamingo. But this one's going to be an animated GIF. Okay, so again, I'm going to save it. View, view the file in Chrome. And here are, here are my favorite zoo animals. Um, and the last one is an animated GIF. If we want to change the background color, we can do that in the body. We can add the code BG color equals quote, and we can give it a regular name like yellow, save it. Okay, and now we can see very quickly, I changed my background color. Next, we're going to look back up here in our file folder. I added a new picture, but this one has a really long name, and that's going to be really long for me to type in. So I want to just to rename it McCall. So to do that, I can click on the image, right-click, and I'm going to choose Rename. Rename is almost all the way at the bottom, and I'm going to call it M-A-C-A-W, and hit Enter. And if I can't remember, if I did not name mine already and I don't know them, I can go to View, and instead of Details, I can look at Large Icons, and I can see what they are. And then if I need to know which one is my animated GIF or PNG or JPG, under View, I can click Details. Okay, and if I wanted to add one more over here, Okay, and that would be M-A-C-A-W. Save it 
and I can view the current file in Chrome. Okay, so that is what my web page looks like. So we've reviewed very quickly how to add in images, how to add a height, a width, how to add an alt tag to give it a description. Oops, I forgot to change those. Let's see. Animated an image of a macaw. Okay, so remember, if your pictures don't work, it's because you don't have your web page in the same folder as your pictures, or you don't know the name of the pictures, or your pictures are not spelled correctly. Thanks a lot, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.